Assalamu alaikum students welcome to science class today we will continue chapter 6 of your science book combustion and flame in this video we will know about types of combustion students there are various types of combustion the three important types of combustion are rapid combustion spontaneous combustion and explosive combustion or explosion right now today we will know about each type of combustion one by one so let's begin with rapid combustion when a combustible substance burns at a rapid rate producing a very large amount of heat and light in a short period of time it is called rapid combustion students you might have noticed that when we bring a lighted mastic or a lighter near the burner of a gas stove in the kitchen the cooking gas starts burning at once producing a lot of heat and some light also right so the immediate burning of the cooking gas that is lpg in a gas stove to give heat and light is an example of rapid combustion the burning of kerosene oil in a kerosene stove is also an example of rapid combustion understood now let's know about spontaneous combustion when a combustible substance burns on its own without the help of any external heat it is called spontaneous combustion right spontaneous combustion takes place at room temperature the heat required for spontaneous combustion is produced inside the substance by its slow oxidation. Understood? For in spontaneous combustion, no external heat is required to start it. When it is getting heated up to a certain temperature, it suddenly starts burning. Understood? Burning of white phosphorus, fire in coal mines and forest fire are examples of spontaneous combustion. Spontaneous combustion is usually undergone by those substances which have quite low ignition temperature. For example, white phosphorus is a substance which undergoes spontaneous combustion. In other words, we can say that white phosphorus burns in air at room temperature so if we keep a piece of white phosphorus in a china dish we will see that it catches fire by itself and starts burning without being heated understood so we can say that the burning of white phosphorus on its own at room temperature is an example of spontaneous combustion now let's know about explosive combustion or explosion a very fast combustion reaction in which a large amount of heat, light and sound are produced is called explosive combustion or explosion. For example, when we light firecrackers, explosion occurs with the evolution of heat, light and sound. 